What is up guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage and it looks like inside sources are already saying what the first brand that Stellantis is going to cut. And it might surprise you. That is right guys, welcome on back to TK's Garage and in today's video, I'm going to talk to you guys about the first brand that Stellantis is definitely cutting. They're gone. And uh, it might surprise you, especially being the cash cow that this company used to be. Now, I already know that a lot of you guys are going to say, oh, well that's easy, it's Maserati. No, it's not. In fact, in the United States uh, Trademark Office, quietly, Stellantis has been moving brands like Plymouth and the Cuda and different trademarks, for the Dart, um, away from Dodge, by the way, which is interesting, which tells me maybe they bring back Plymouth. I, I, I don't know. Um, what was the other one? Uh, the Satellite. And I don't know, I was, I was just digging in and doing some research today. And um, it's funny, Caravan, Voyager, and uh, I forget what the other one was, Town and Country, maybe that's what it was, Town and Country, have all been moved to Dodge. Huh. Interesting. Trademarked it under Stellantis, uh, NA, right? North America, and Dodge. Why would they move the caravan esque vehicles to Dodge when, you know, they're primarily only selling them under Chrysler? <clears throat> Didn't they just release a concept not too long ago that they were going to drop another? Chrysler car? Yeah, no. Chrysler's gone. They're literally moving all of the Chrysler brands that they feel or nameplates that they feel may be worth money over to Dodge. Now, I thought for sure if they killed Chrysler, they would probably kill Dodge. And it still might happen. I think they're going to see, wait and see what happens with the EV chargers and scat packs and the inline six chargers before they do that. And I thought for sure it would be Maserati first, but it looks like it's Chrysler. And then if Maserati doesn't turn around in very short order, Maserati is second. Chrysler and Maserati gone. I can tell you right now, the Italians are already pissed at Stellantis. And I just don't see the largest investor in the brand, Exor, allowing that to happen. That's why Chrysler's the first to go. I think Chrysler's the first to go to placate Exor, the largest investor, to just say, hey, deal with it. We're going we're gonna to try another model year with some brands and we're going to really push Maserati and see if we can get something to change here. And if it doesn't, Maybe getting some kind of agreement or something in place where Exor and, you know, the Italian government, which backs that, allows that to happen. It would be the equivalent of the French government saying, let's shut down Peugeot. I, I just, I don't see that happening. It's just not going to happen. And uh, depending on who is in charge politically here in the United States, it will be interesting to see if they rush to shut Chrysler down before January of 2025. Because I can tell you right now, depending on who it is that's in power, probably wouldn't happen. The US government could say, nope. The same way that you saw the Italian government just offer zombie brands from Stellantis to Chinese companies to buy and build cars in Italy. Italy, I just don't see 
them going for shutting down Maserati. I, I just don't see it. I don't think they're going to allow it. If they did, I think they would. I think he, I guarantee you the second Stellantis shuts that thing down, because Carlos Tavares did say we are going to shut down brands that don't make money. Understandably, I I get that right. It's the same thing that GM did with Pontiac and Saturn, and I I, I get it when they were going through their bankruptcy, but I just don't see. I don't see the Italian government going for going for them shutting down Maserati. Chrysler, I don't think anybody here in America, at least in the political space right now, would care. They're not going to cry about it, whine about it. That big ass Chrysler building in Detroit. I, I will say this: it really depends if you know if you live there and you care about you know Chrysler surviving. Whew, you got some hard decisions to make this winter. That's all I can tell you. You got some very hard decisions to make this winter. Um, it's it just it sucks to see. It does. You know that entire building was paid for by the caravan, by the minivan, basically, right? And to see that thing get wrapped up and Chrysler completely closed. Yeah, I just I don't see it. Uh, Fiat's not going anywhere. We already know what Car Carlos Tavares feels about uh, about uh, Alfa Romeo. That's that's not going anywhere anytime soon. It's kind of their crown jewel. Get the f out of here, um, Ram. Who knows? They could end up packaging that back into Dodge and shutting that brand as a brand down, and making making stuff go back to the Ram. Uh, you know, the Dodge Ram uh, Jeep. You know, we have a separate video on that. I, I don't, you know, in a in a world where SUVs are king right now, the fact that Jeep can't sell vehicles is pretty hilarious. I, I think it goes to exactly everything that we've talked about here. But uh, yeah, what do you guys think? Do you think it's going to be Chrysler first? Do you think it's going to be Maserati that gets cut first? But for sure, internal rumblings and the same people at the Chrysler building uh, we're, are getting the same thing like the rumor mill is flying around in that building that they are the first to go and we can literally use what Carlos has said as you know gospel when it comes to what he's going to do he's literally said everything that he was going to do he was going to cut costs he's laid people off left right and center cut back shifts cut back production raised prices on vehicles and they can't sell dog shit hopefully uh, that changes, but I think, uh, we're in the last days of Chrysler as a brand and, uh, Maserati doesn't have much longer to follow. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Give the video a big thumbs up. If you like what I do, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And as always stay petty, my friends.